Just let me. Yeah. Yeah, I think the recording has started. I'm muting everyone. You can again unmute yourself. OK, fine. So I think the recording also has started. Let me stop transcription only recording. Let me put. OK, fine. OK, now before we start, I'll ask few questions so that we can actually start from scratch and collect the data and everything. So whenever we start any, I mean, whenever I start any project, I'll just describe what I will actually explore and what kind of wireframing or thought process I build when I build my own projects in when it comes to personal projects, right? Okay, the first thing is our goal is to visualize Gujarat elections, right? Gujarat assembly elections. So what do you think are required to get this? What all different elements are required for us to achieve this target? The constituencies along with the district also. Okay, so we require first part is data, which consists of constituencies, and uh, you know the constituencies and related info you can say like you know who is the who, i mean who have contested who is the leading party trailing party etc data second number of people what shares yeah yeah can you repeat hello what shares Ah, so yeah, that all belongs to data. So okay. constituencies and related information. Demographic so data. Exactly. Yeah. So we mm -hmm. need to understand what exactly is uh, are we trying to show? I mean, based on our visualization, what are we trying to analyze or display? Uh, fine. That yeah, that comes under an analysis part. So data is one thing which we need to have in our hands. And next, what we need to have. The, the candidate's name who is like selecting the election. Yeah, that will come under data. So okay. that is led to data. So next Gujarat thing which we Yeah, yes, exactly. Next thing we require is map. So what map do we require? We require a map which consists of assembly constituencies. Right, because see, you also have parliament constituencies. You also have assembly constituencies. Right now, since we are talking about Vidhan Sabha, we require assembly constituencies map and that to the map related to Gujarat we want. Right, so we require map also. We, can you please mute? Uh, just let me uh, let me mute everyone and let me just. Yeah, OK, so we require data and we require map and map specifically we require assembly constituencies uh, related map, not parliament constituencies. And also one more thing to remember when it comes to assembly constituencies is assembly constituencies are actually delimited in 2009 year. So for example, if you download any map which consists of assembly constituencies back in 2004, for example, the constituencies will be different because delimitation happened in 2009. So whatever data which you have to download, you have to download something after which happened after 2009. And again, delimitation will be happening around 2026, if I'm not wrong. Again, a lot of de delimitation and everything will happen for both parliament as well as assembly constituencies. So whatever mm -hmm. data we are going to download, the map and everything, it should be later than 2009 because on internet you will find many maps which are, which are before also. And one more thing which we have to take into consideration is, for example, if you see last 10 years, right? So we have Andhra and Telangana bifurcated they became two states. Similarly, Jammu and Kashmir, their status have changed to union territories. Similarly, we have a lot of union territories which got merged. For example, if you talk about Daman and the EU or you know other uh, related union territories, they also their structure has changed. So some of those things may not be available. Since now we are talking about Gujarat, since Gujarat has been consistent since 2009, we can download it very easily. <coughs> But for example, if you are trying to download Telangana specific map or Andhra specific map, then probably it will be difficult. So since this is Gujarat, we can easily find data which is after 2009 because the constituency is one, uh, one, one or less. It is almost the same. Now let's go to Google. Okay. Now when you go to Google, now let can you tell me where can we get this data? What do you think? Can you guess where can we get this data? Like Election, election. Commission. from election okay. commission's website, we can get the data. Okay, so I'll say 
election commission of india gujarat 2022 election results right so i'll go here now here what i'm having is party but i want constituency wise so if i go here it is again give, now the issue with this is it is giving me the results but again it is giving me constituency by constituency now the issue is it is i mean we can do web scrapping not an issue but again you know that will take time since we are talking about quickly building things what we can do is we can actually go with some other link okay so we we can simply go with uh, election eca i'll simply say eca gujarat 2022 right if i simply type like this there will be some there will be one link where i can actually go and check the results so let me just check that so this is one page there is also one more page let me see that uh, this is the state election commission here you will not find it you will only find it in the official election commission so let me just go here and let me say, let me check where it is so i am doing it from scratch because i am just going uh, making you go through the process of how it happens naturally so if i do everything predefined then there is no point right so that's why i'm doing it from scratch even i'm also searching so you also do the search and you also try to tell me if you are finding anything so here i have to do web scrapping individually and here okay here if you see there is constituency wise trend and probably this is what i'm looking for so here i have all the constituencies so constituency numbers are there constituency name is there leading trailing candidate is there only margin they have given they have not given how many votes the leading party has got and how many votes these guys have got so i think this data will be enough to actually we start visualizing our data right i mean for now for this particular session you can say and this is officially given by eci election commission of india so it is the most credible source you can say in terms of uh, election commission so what we'll do is we can actually do web scraping but like i mentioned since we are talking about quickly building this what I would suggest is we can just copy paste this data into Excel right now. So what I will do is I'll open Excel and here I will create a new sheet and say 2022 election results like this. And then I'll go here and I'll try to copy from the first. And so I'll interrupt this. Once we open the election commission website, then uh, like where exactly the link which is you have just opened. Can you please repeat once again? Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, I went to election commission. Initially, they had, it has given me this this page. Yeah. Okay. So I have to go to constituency by strengths. Okay. 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 So what I did was just watch this careful, and you can also do it. I copied everything. So I went here and I pasted special. So I'm pasting it as uh, just text. Okay. And here I don't require the second column and I'm deleting this. So I got one page. Next again, I can go to the second page. Like this, I can go to second page. I can copy from here till the end. And again, I'll go and paste it here. So like this, I have to paste all the 182 seats which are there for Gujarat. And that's when my data will be ready. So you also do it in the back end. Uh, I mean, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the meantime. So this will hardly take 10 minutes of time, not more than that. Yeah, using power query. Yeah, can you come? Can you repeat? Can't you do this using power query because it's manually instead of copying? Ah, we can do it in power query. The main issue with power query is uh, you will have 10 different queries, right? Yeah. This is this is much more easier than doing it in power query. Okay. Because you have to combine the 10 queries again, so it will take a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, Sunday, can you please uh, scraping how how it is and uh, what are the uses of it? Yeah, I'll show probably towards the end. We we are going to do web scraping also. So because uh, I'll be showing you how to bring the results of 2017 elections to do the comparison. That also I'll do. That we'll be doing with web scraping only, most probably. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So, Water. so you also do this. If you are facing any difficulties, please let me know. It's only like um, 20 pages. So hardly takes 10 minutes of time. 2017 results we'll do with web scraping. Oh, we need to capture all the tabs. Yeah, like everything, oh. right? Because we have 182 seats. So each one is displaying only 10 results. Actually, we can do this from Wikipedia. Unfortunately, Wikipedia is not updated. If it was updated, we could have done it actually with web scraping using Wikipedia. It would have come very simple. Is Once you are done, please let me know. Okay, I am done with mine. I'll just cross check. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yes, Sanjay, could you please repeat that? Uh, which one? Like uh, quickly, can you please uh, summarize this? Uh, what we have done till now? Okay, like, uh, okay. so official first, right of election commission. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so first I typed in Google ECI Gujarat election results 2022. Then I went to a link here, the second link general election to Vidhan Sabha trends and result December 22. So this is the website which I got into. I mean, election committee results.eca.go.in. So here I saw party wise, but I don't want party wise. I want constituency wise. So then I went here. When I went to second tab, it shows all these constituency wise results. So this is what this is not what I want because it takes time for web scraping. Then I went for constituency trends, the third one. So this is the table which I actually want. And we had the status known for 182 out of 182. So all I did was I'm copying each table like this pasting it on Excel with uh, space special and I have done it for all 19 pages. OK, thank you, Sanjay. Yeah. OK, so I'll give I'll give some time for you guys. You do it and just put it in the chat box once you are done. And we'll continue from 4.55. So eight more minutes is there. I think that should be enough time for all of you to complete. Again, we'll continue from 4.55, so seven more minutes. When I'm doing oh, space special, it still it is session. not showing like in a collated manner. I don't know why. Okay, can you just share your screen? Uh, 
Uh, just... Sanjay, we are recording this session, please. It says, I mean, I started the recording, uh, but yeah, I think it is recording. Yes. Okay, okay, Actually, okay. Yeah. Please, I, I request you if, if I get the recording. Okay, so what's happening? The problem is that when I'm trying to do the paste special thing, then it is okay. like still not collating correctly. It is going in one column, like not distributing properly. Like it yeah, should yeah, have been. I, yeah, yeah, I will explain. So I'm just sharing my screen and I'll explain. See, yeah, yeah. when you're selecting, what will happen is, see, you might have selected like this. Yeah. And when you're copying, it's happening like this, right? Wait, wait, I'll just show. So how it happens is, see, when you're selecting, select from here and select only up to here. Don't give any spaces after this, like this. So okay. let's say if you copy like this and if you paste, what will happen? It, it Sometimes it will give you a single column. So you mm -hmm. copy only until this D, last D. Okay, okay. Mm. So copy from A and a copy mm. until the D without any spaces after that. And then you paste, mm. it should work fine. Okay, okay. Let it go try. Or else what, yeah. what you could do. Okay, guys, you have some more. Uh, Sanjay. Yeah, please tell me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you send me the recording after the session, please? I request. Okay, sure. Put in the group, please. And yeah. yeah. Or else, if you are getting uh, rows in single column, what you can do is see the row count will be. One, the the row count number. will be 182. I mean, headers is one row. The first row will be headers. Remaining 182. So 183 will be the total rows. So we have 182 seats in Gujarat. Mm -hmm. Now it is working fine, Sanjay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, no, MacBook doesn't support Power BI. No. Hello, Sanjay. Yeah, hi. Uh, while pasting, there are two uh, rows additional, uh, which includes only I can. We should just delete it, or uh, we will de uh, delete it afterwards. Le we'll delete it later afterwards at a time. Okay. Should be part of the data cleaning process, right? Yeah.
हेलो संजय या हाय सर आई एम यश सर टोटल टोटल रिकॉर्ड्स आर 182 राइट या 182 यस या थैंक यू सो मच सो टू क्रॉस चेक यू हैव द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी नंबर राइट इन द सेकंड कॉलम सो दैट वन यू कैन जस्ट चेक whether 182 have come or not from 1 to 182 Okay, guys. I hope all of you are done. Or if I have, or if I have to wait, I'll wait for a couple more minutes. Anyone who is still doing, or is it done for everyone? One minute. Two minutes more. Okay. Sanjay, I cannot yeah. exit because I'm I'm actually attending from a Mac, so I'm not sure how to. I mean, I think uh, Power BI does not support Mac. It seems. No, no, it will not support. No. So I'll 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 probably will wait for the recorded session, uh, Sanjay, and fine, if fine. if I get any Power BI uh, I mean resource device, I'll fine. fine. I'll do that. Okay. So if any of you in the meantime, uh, as we wait for others to finish, if any of you did not install or if you did not download the Power BI desktop, now is the best time to do it. So download or install the Power BI desktop. It's almost. Uh, 500 or 600 MB. So download it, install it, so that we can. If you want to do the next steps, we require that. Hello, hi Sanjay. Hello. Yeah, hi. Ah, uh, I have small dot. Can I share my screen? Yeah, yeah, sure. Please do share. Actually, I haven't copied the headers. Uh, yeah, you can insert the... a new row on the top. Uh, click on one. Click on one on the left side. Just only one. Instead of no, select the one which is on the left. Yeah, select okay. that. Right click. Insert. Ah, uh, insert. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now you copy and paste the header there. So go to election commission website, copy that header and paste it. Paste special like how you have done for the rest of the data. Okay, thank you. Fine. Hi, Sanjay. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, uh, actually, uh, I'm very uh, new to your data. I mean, analysis. Otherwise, uh, I have skill sets in data uh, back in the uh, the uh, in period. Okay. Uh, however, uh, I have done uh, like uh, analysis in for my personal analysis. I used Excel uh, various time. Okay. So can I? I mean, can I attend the session now? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, it is beginner friend. Yeah, because they yeah, are like I'm. I try. To, I want to explore this this field as well, so that because I'm applying for a new job. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. If I like it, I I, you know, I will. I want to try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. 
So given that I installed the Power BI uh, from Microsoft Store, yeah, basically I went to the site and from there it got directed to uh, Microsoft Store. Uh, ah, it's so uh, it's around the 600 MB, right? Yeah, so it will ask you to download a file. You download the setup file and install it 64 bit. Uh, no, uh, I didn't uh, download the setup file. Uh, rather, uh, it took me to the Microsoft Store, like in, in Windows, Windows Store. Ah, so I will. I will walk. Through, I, I will walk through the installation once this uh, is done. Uh, so everyone also will be in the sync when it comes to the installation. No, not over. Store one will also work. Okay, guys. So can we go to the next part, or still anyone is doing this? Uh, Sanjay, please wait for two more minutes. Okay, fine. Okay. In the meantime, you can share your screen. I will walk you through how to install Power BI. Uh, just share, uh, just share your screen. Whoever have not installed. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Sanjay, I have a suggestion here. So maybe one of the person can upload the file over here, and maybe the people who still have to copy, uh, copy paste the data, maybe all, we all can leverage the same file, and maybe it will save some time. Ah, oh, fine. Yeah. Can you can you just upload the file? Uh, sure, sure. Yeah, you. please upload, so that everyone will be ready, and we can go to the next part. Hi, Sanjay. Yeah. Hi. I'm Asif here. Hi. So, Hi, uh, yes. I just want to uh, know that uh, does this font uh, size matters? No, no. Pasting? No, not really. Okay. Okay, fine, guys. Let me share the screen and let's go further. So, uh, Sanjay, in the sorry, chat box, actually, uh, Mohit will upload the file. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sanjay, actually, not able to upload the file. I think I'm using the team team browser, so it is not giving me option to upload the file. Okay, not an issue. I'll upload mine. Yeah. Ah, so what you guys have to do? Okay, let's let me try to upload the file and then we'll see. I think for me also it is not enabled, I guess. Maybe a limitation, I guess. It's fine. Maybe on WhatsApp I'll give you. Fine. Let me up, let me give it to you on WhatsApp, OK? So on WhatsApp, you'll get guys. If you haven't built the file, it's fine. And now I'll proceed to the next part, fine? OK, now let me again share my screen and proceed to the next part, OK? Now we have the data for 2022. Later, we'll see the 2017 as well. Now the second part which we require is the map, right? So when you look at any Bing Maps or Google Maps or Yahoo Maps, you'll only find country, state, city, street, or maybe the area, locality, etc. Now if we want assembly constituencies maps, that is something which is not available in the public domain. One second, I'm just muting everyone. Yeah, so if you want to have assembly constituencies or even for local body elections also, you will not find these maps that easily because these are specific to those particular constituencies and for those particular elections. So these are all something which are locally you have to find them. So if you try to search on Google also, you may not find good results because this is something which is related to, you know, like uh, drawing and designing aspect, you can say. Those who are familiar with AutoCAD and other things, you will be able to relate to this more. So let me share my screen, sorry. Yeah, you will be able to relate to this more if you worked on AutoCAD or softwares like that. So when it comes to const assembly constraints map, so where to get this map? That is the key question. So when I first started uh, building these election results on Power BI, it took me one entire day to find out this particular map. One entire day of Googling from morning till evening, I, I had to search each and every link on Google and finally I was able to find a good source. And that is also again not perfect. That is also, I would say, around 95% good. Remaining 5%, again, I had to do some adjustments. So where do we find a assembly constituency map? Now, before we try to 
get into Google. What I have to tell you and what I have to share with respect to knowledge perspective is you have something called map shape files. OK, so map shape files will be in SHP format. So what these files are? So basically these are like shape files. You can say just like how we have Excel, PDF, Word, PP, PPTX, PBIX like that, how we have extensions. We have something called SHP and these are map shape files. Now along with SHP files, we also have PRJ and we also have uh, DBF files. DBF files, what they do is they carry the metadata. PRJ files, what they do is they carry the met. So this is the metadata related to the constituencies. This 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 one also has metadata which is related to the borders or you can say the projections, right? So you have t you you need to have three files with you if you really want to plot anything on Power Bay related to elections. First is the SHP file. Second is the PRJ file. Third one is the DBF file. These are the extensions. Without these files, it is difficult to. I mean, you can't actually visualize the election results. And the second thing is these files are not easy to find. Like I mentioned, you should find the files which are after 2009. Because in 2009, the delimitation has happened for parliament as well as assembly constituencies for certain states. So you need to find these three files on the Internet to actually visualize any election results when it comes to India. And even when you search for these files, Let's say if you want a Telangana map exclusively, you will not find it. You will find you will find Andhra and Telangana combined. Similarly, for Jammu and Kashmir, you will not find uh, you will not find two different union territories. You will find a single Jammu and Kashmir mentioned. So it becomes very challenging. So this is what took me a lot of time to actually find out. Now, when it comes to Gujarat, so in Gujarat, like I mentioned, we have assembly constituencies, parliament constituencies, and we have local bodies. Again, you have three types. You need to find the assembly map right now. So if you actually search on Google, you need to use the right key terms. The right key term for this is GIS shape map, shape map files for India parliamentary and assembly constituencies, including the poll booth localities. So the right key was to use, use is you have to say this GIS shape map files, shape files for India. You have to say assembly constituencies. So this is the right keyword. Now, how did I find out this keyword is? I'll tell you that also. Now, if you go to Power BI, for example, now you might wonder how did I find out this GIS word? So if, if you just open Power BI and if I just go to settings, options and settings, settings, and if I go to security, right? Now, if you see there is something called ARC GIS, right? ARC GIS and here I have map and field map visuals. Two options are there. So this this one, this just I tried to explore what it is. From there I was actually able to find out this one. So you just have to say just shape map files, India assembly constituencies and if you click on it, you will get multiple links. So this is one link. This is another link. So you will have different university websites where you will find the data. So compared to other sources, I found this source to be good in terms of uh, accuracy and other things. So of course you'll get a lot of results like this. And this is actually the one which I'm showing you is actually this one. So it is not the first result. So one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, fourth result this one is. In the fourth result, I was able to find out by using these keywords. So what you have to do is you have to go to this website and you have to download this. Mapping India elections. Dot TGZ. If you download this, it will start downloading. It is around 160 MB. Once you have downloaded this, please let me know. The keyword to use in Google is GIS shape files India assembly constituencies, and you will find it in this website. Uh, university Bielefeld. Probably it, it must be a German university. So everything is written in German, I guess. So this is the website where you have to download the file. So you also do it from your end and once you are done, please put it in the chat box once you have downloaded the files. Uh, hi, Sindhi. Uh, Sindhi, can you just repeat the keywords? OK, I'll just put the keywords exactly. Yes.
Uh, hi Sanjay. Yeah, hi. Uh, so, so uh, where to download this uh, the PUV file? So it's in the German website. It will be the fourth huh. result. It will be, yeah. The fourth result, okay. DOI. PUB, PUB dot UNI, Bellyfield dot DE. Yeah, someone shared the link. That is the link. Okay. Sanjay, I cannot see the option map and field map visions. Can I share my screen once? Ah, I'll go. I'll walk you through that as well. Uh, later, I'll walk you through that. For now, just uh, download the file. Yeah. Now, guys, one thing which I want to make it clear is this is only for India. Now, let's say you want to plot the election results of US. Now, in US, you have counties instead of constituencies, you have counties. So you have states and you have counties. So to get that data again, I had to again do a lot of Googling and finally found a data set which is there on GitHub. So it is not as straightforward as uh, doing it. I mean, this is only valid for India. Let's say tomorrow if you want to visualize the election results of Germany or Norway, for example, recently held an election, right? So if you want to visualize for different countries, the sources will be different. It is not easy to find. Uh, they, they should also be accurate also, right? So that Googling skills are always uh, handy. You require good, good Googling skills if you really want to find the good data set. Data set or map, whatever it is. OK, fine. Meanwhile, let the data set download. It will take time and I'll proceed to the next part. OK, fine. Now we have actually downloaded the data set. You just watch what I will do. Hello, Sanjay. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, which file we, we have to download? Uh, it is highlighted in the chat box, the second one, the second link. So here you yeah. have to click this one. Uh, which one? Just follow the chat box. There they have okay, to okay. the link. Okay. And the second one you download it. It's around 160, 170 MB. Okay. Now watch sure. this carefully. Uh, let me just share. Okay, fine. Now let me just uh, share what we have to do. Now you have the zip file, right? If you have WinRAR, it is easy. Right click and say extract to. You select this option and automatically it will extract everything. So extract this file. Using WinRAR, WinZip, anything will work. Guys, are you able to see my screen or is it not visible? Able to see. Oh, okay. visible. Fine, visible. Fine, fine. Okay, so once you extract it, what you have to do is go into that uh, folder and search for Gujarat, right? So you have one folder called Gujarat. Now, if you go to Gujarat, you will have different files. So you have local booth, then you have the parliamentary and everything. What you require are the three files which I showed you. DBF, PRJ and SHP. These are the three files which you need to find. Copy these three files, copy these three files and put them in one folder somewhere. So create one folder somewhere and put these three here in that folder. So I'm repeating. Once you extract the file, go, go into the file, go to Gujarat folder and find out those three assembly files. SHP, PRJ, DBF. Copy those files and put them somewhere. Create one folder and put them so somewhere separately. Once you're done, please let me know. Just put it in the chat box.
So if you guys have any issues with respect to extraction, uh, what I'll do is I'll share these three files in WhatsApp, okay? So I can put these three files separately, probably in WhatsApp if you guys are facing any issues, okay? So I'm sending it on WhatsApp. You can always save them from there. Fine? Sure. Okay, now let me share my screen and let me go back. Now we have the maps. Now how do we bring this into Power Bay is the next question. Now if you go to Google again, and if you type map shape files Power BI. Uh, Sanjay, there is one more file called uh, .shx. Not that is not required for now. Yeah. Okay. okay, if you just type this map shape files power bi and if you go to this link, it shows it is in preview. So this, this is a feature which is still in preview, right? So if you go here and if you go and if you just uh, see different options. So first you have to go to preview features in your power bi desktop and in your preview features you have to enable shape map visual. So how do you do that? Go to file. So go to file. Go to options and settings. Go to options. I can't and see then, Power BI. Are you not able Maybe to see? I'm all able to see only this files. Oops, we share. Okay, can you see, see my you? screen now? No. What about others? <laughs> You will not for me. Yes, I can see. I can see. I can see. I can see. I think okay, some fine. problem with her internet. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now, what you have to do is go to file, go to options and settings, go to options, and go to preview features. Okay. So here you have preview features. Now, okay. first you have to enable shape map visual. You have to enable this. Shape map visual. So here it is there, right? Shape map visual. So depending on whichever Power BI version you are using, the colors and everything will be different. Latest version of Power BI has this green color. If you are using old version, it will show it in a low color like this. So you enable this shape map visual in preview features, and then you go to security, and in security you enable this one. Use map and fill shape, fill map visuals. Two options you have to enable. First is in preview features. Second one is in the security options. This use our GIS for Power BI also we have to uh, take mark. No, not required. Only this one is fine. That is a paid service, so not required. Okay. So two options in preview features. Enable the first option shape map visual and come back to the security options and scroll down and enable this one. Use map and field map visuals. And click OK. Once you are done, just put it in the chat box. Okay, go to options and settings in Power BI. Go to preview features. Enable the map shape file and again go to security and again enable map shape file by scrolling down. Okay, now let me share that article again. So first you enable this option. Then what you have to do is then you will get a visual like this shape map. That will do it. Now the issue is now if you go down. Here you can read something. Can someone tell me what this paragraph says? This paragraph. We can use uh, custom maps with shape as long as they, they, they are in topo JSON format. So they want topo JSON format, but what format we have here? File. So right now we don't have the right files, right? So they are asking for topo JSON, but right now we are having three different files. We don't have a single file. Power BI can only allow topo JSON format, but we have three individual files. Now we have to combine all three of them. 
So how do we do that? So Microsoft only has given a link here. So you click on this link and it will take you to a website like this map shaper. Right, so I'll just share this map shaper link to you guys. So in the Microsoft article only officially it has given. Right now what we have to do is watch it carefully and then you do it on your end. So can someone read this? What is written? Drop or paste files here or yeah. select from folder. Yeah, below that. Shape file geo JSON topo JSON DBF CSV files are supported. Right. So yeah, our file is supported. Yeah, even though PRJ is not written, that is also supported. So what we have to do is copy this folder path which you have locally copy the folder path. Go and select this. Go here and select all three files together and click open. So simple go here, go to the path where your maps are there. Select all three files and click open. And then you click on import. OK, now just watch this carefully and then you do it on your end. Now what we have to do is we have to simplify this because this file, if you see the size of it is 14 MB. Now if you try to do it on Power BI, it will not even work. I mean, it's too heavy for Power BI. In Tableau, it will work fine, but in Power BI, you know, still it is in preview feature. Soon, maybe if it comes into the actual feature, maybe it will speed up, but this much size is unacceptable for Power BI. You need to have a file which is of the range 200 or 300 KB. So what we have to do is we have to simplify it. Here you have an option called simplify. Go to simplify and say apply. And you see the size. For example, if I put 0%, you see how map has become. The features are all lost. So you have to be very careful while doing the simplification. So what you can do is you can put around 4 or 5%. What I would say is small, small things. For example, if you see these lines here, uh, just follow my mouse cursor in this corner or in this corner. Uh, right now they are not so important. We want the performance to be fast. So what I'll do is some of them we may lose some of the features, but overall map will be the same. So I'll probably convert it to probably 1.5% or something and then I'll click export. And I want what format? Can someone tell me which format should I export? Topo 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 JSON. Yeah, so I'll select topo JSON and then I'll export and now my file is ready. So you also do it from your end. So just to repeat what I have done. So I went to. I went to this website, Microsoft website, then I went to mapshaper.org. So I went to mapshaper.org. I went to select and then I selected all three files. And now it is asking what should I do? I said click import. And then because this file is very large, this is 14 MB in size, you know, so I need to simplify it. So what I did was I clicked on simplify. And it is asking so which which method I want with or uh, Douglas uh, one or which one I'll go with default option and I'll click apply and then I'll simply go with around 2% or 1.5% without compromising too much and then I'll click on export and then I'll select topo JSON and click on export. My file will be downloaded in the download folder and now my file is ready. So once you are done until this point, please uh, put it in the chat box. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. Hello, sir. Hi, yeah. Manu. Hello. Yeah, uh, here, see the options. Okay. Okay, go to options. The preview features have enabled this. Yeah, just go to options, go to preview. Uh, you have enabled, go to security. It is on the top. Above preview. Yeah, now scroll down. In the preview, in the security, scroll down on the right. Yeah. Uh, okay. When adding a custom visual, maybe, maybe you may have to update your Power BI because it's a preview feature, right? So the latest power bay will have the green color uh, tint. So only in the I, I think this feature is only supported if you are using something from the last one or two months, I guess. 
Okay. I am using the six months back old. No, no. I think it is enabled. It's fine. It's fine. You can click OK. That's probably an extra option which they have given. I think it will work on yours. Click OK. okay. Yeah. Okay. Once you are done with this, yeah. So what you have to do is you have to upload the three files. Just to repeat, someone asked in the chat. Upload those three files, and then you simplify that one. You click import and then simplify. Just share your screen, uh, Vibo. I'll just walk you through it. Sanjay, I just uh, can you repeat what uh, term you have uh, put in this? So we don't have to select any options. So Power BI shape mapper. Ha! Huh, you 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 went there, right? So go to simplify. Uh, we I have not selected any option, uh, not checkbox any option. Just uploaded and this. Ha! Huh, yeah yeah fine. Uh, so you uploaded all three files, right? Yes. Ha! Huh, go to simplify. Click apply. Go with the default yeah, option. Wait is okay. Ha! Huh, it is waited. Yeah, we swelling up that only. Ha! Huh. Now you put around one point five, one point seven, one point five. Otherwise too much. Ha! Huh, that is fine. Yeah. Yeah, one point seven is fine. Now go to export. Go with Topo JSON because that is the format supported by Power BI. Click export. Okay. Fine. Yep. Okay. Now let me share my screen again. So let's go to the next part. Okay. Now oh, we have. Excuse me. Uh, sorry. Can yeah. you please repeat the last part? Which format we have to in which format we have to export? Ha. So go to export. And yes. then click on Topo JSON and click download. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now our map is also ready, guys. So data is ready. Map is also Excuse ready. Excuse me, Sanjay. Yeah. Hello. Sir, I am not able to download the file, sir. Uh, okay. So it's fine. Uh, I like some. I will just share it on. Yeah. You just share your screen. You can just walk through quickly. Not able to download the file. I am not able to view here on. Ah, uh, just download them right on WhatsApp. So, no, I'm not. Click on the download to button. Download. Okay, maybe you can check it later. Anyway, recording will be there, right? So it's fine. Okay, let me share my screen. Let's let's move with the next part. Okay, now our data is ready. And also our map is ready. Now let's see whether it will work or we have to do anything, anything more. Okay. So what we'll do is go back to the Excel file which we prepared here. And now we don't require two columns. This column we don't require the E column and also the H column we don't require. Where it simply says I, I, I everywhere. Just right click that, delete it. Again, right click this, delete this one also. Right? Delete those two for those two columns which are not required and then save your file. Fine. OK, now our our results are stored in Excel format, right? So what we have to do is go back to Power BI and we have to import the Excel workbook. So go to get data and click on Excel workbook and then select the file. And once you select the file, you will get different things. Right now it is in 2022 results sheet. I'll select this and I'll go to transform. So just to repeat, what I have done was I deleted those two extra columns, which simply says I, I, I everywhere. I deleted both of them. Then I went to Power BI. I went to get data, clicked on Excel workbook and selected my Excel file. And now I'm selecting the sheet and I have to put a tick mark here and I'll go to transform data. So once you are done until here, please ping in the chat box. OK, so what I have done is in Excel, I removed the unnecessary columns, those two columns. Then I went to Power BI and I tried to import it. And I selected that particular sheet and click transform data. 
Okay, fine. So let me share my screen. So just repeat, let me repeat the last part. Okay, for others. So let me discard the changes and let me repeat the last part. So I went to get data Excel workbook. Then I selected my Gujarat election file. Then I selected this worksheet, this one. So this is the sheet name which I have given. Whichever sheet name you have given, you select that particular worksheet and it will give you a preview here on the right side. So whichever sheet, it could be sheet one for you. So you just have to select the right sheet and say transform data. And once you click transform data, it will take you to power query window. Now here we have to do some adjustments depending on the uh, our depending on what we want. OK. OK, now we have all the data which is intact, which is fine. So if you look at the data types and everything, this is looking fine for me. Now there are a couple of changes which I want to do. One change which I want to do is if you look at the names, they are not consistent, right? So here Chaitanya is written normal, but here uh, this name is written in capital letters, you know, Kaushik, Yogesh, everything. I want to actually normalize it. Similarly, the same thing for the trailing candidate also. So can someone tell me what option can I use to get proper naming? In Power Query? Trim, trim. Transform, huh? transform. Trim, category. trim. No, trim is for removing okay. spaces. Here, what capital I want is... Capitalize each word. Capitalize each word. Lower case. Okay, where should I go? Can someone tell? Need to go. Transform. 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 Text column Text format. Format. Capitalize each word. Yeah, so I have to go to format and say capitalize each word. <coughs> now, all my names got normalized. Similarly, I'll select the trailing candidate or I can select both at once also. So I can select this one, control, and I'll click this one. I think I can't do it here, I guess. Yeah, I'll select this one and I will say capitalize each word. Again, I'll click on trailing candidate and again, I click on capitalize each word. Now my names are standardized here. Right? Uh, now my names are correct. The last step. Okay. So what I have to do is I'll select this and I'll select this also. I can select both at once or separately also you can do. Select one of the columns, say capitalize each word. Again, select another column and again you say capitalize each word. I mean you have to go to transform tab. So there is home tab, transform, add column, etc. Go to transform tab and click on format and say capitalize each word. Okay, Sanjay, got it. Okay. Now, if you think about Sanjay? it, even yeah, please, please tell me. How can we get this green bars at the top of this one? <coughs> uh, that is for uh, you go to view and select column distribution and column qual quality. In okay. the view. Column quality and column distribution. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, fine. Now, Sanjay, what is the this. significance of these two properties? Like, uh, does it tell you anything with respect to data cleansing or how accurate yeah. the data is? OK. Yes, it will, because what happens is when you are actually dealing with data, uh, so it will tell you how many <coughs> null values are there, how many empty are there, uh, how many errors are there with respect to data types, data inconsistencies, how many unique values are there, everything it will show you. It is called column profiling. So if you go to the bottom, it, you can select either top thousand rows or you can do the column profiling for entire data set. It is okay. for examining the data. OK. OK, now what I'll do is uh, I'll say close and load. I have done close and load on the top left and now my data is being loaded into Power BI. So once my data is loaded on the right side, you can see it says a query one or two thousand twenty two election. Some query will be loaded here. So once you are done. They have been muted by somebody else. You, you have close and apply in the last step.
the last step is go to the top left and click on close and apply. Sanjay, can you share your screen? We are not able to share your screen. Yeah, yeah screen sharing is off. Yeah. So the last step is I was here in Power Query and then I said close and apply here. Close, click on close and apply on the top left. I think I can't see that option over there. And that yeah. apart from trim, uh, which option we did we use to correct the sequence for the names? Capitalize each word. Okay. So we have done. We have what? What have we done so far? We have actually got the data. So we also got the map. Now we have to combine both of them, right? I mean, we have to use Power BI to visualize both. So first what I will do is there are different visuals which might appear on your right side pane. So you click on shape map. Click on shape map. Hello. Sanjay, I see field map, not a shape map. No, see field map is different. Shape map is different. So you have to enable those options in the of in the power in the power bi options then only this one will come this visualization field map is different shape map is different what we require right now is shape map how to get shape maps Sanjay? so you have to check you have enabled it in the options right yeah right we did but still it's not coming no map and shape map is the Sanjay. Uh, okay can you just share your screen I uh, you have to restart the power bay to enable the feature, correct? Restart your power bay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, correct. So Sanjay, what is the difference between the field map and shape map? Field map is a default visual. Uh, shape map is a custom visual which we are going to use. Okay, so means so we can customize some of the properties from the I mean so exactly. default one, right? Exactly. Okay, so let me share my screen, and now we have this we have this shape map. So go to format your visual. Nothing will appear here, right? Nothing is there. Now what we'll do uh, is. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Actually, I'm not able to see what uh, that type I did. I'm just sharing my screen. Uh, when you clicked on it, uh, close and that option. After that, I'm not able to see anything. Which one? Uh, let me show. You. Yeah, please share your screen. I think it will be better to guide. Yeah, here. Can okay. you see your screen? Yeah. Uh, so no, only I, I, I can see only gray screen. I don't know if I'm able to Is see anyone it. able to see Mohit's screen? No. Uh, okay, some, no, maybe, no, maybe some no, technical no. issue. Maybe it might have crashed. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, something. Okay, fine. You can later watch the recording. So. Okay. Now, what I have done is I have actually selected this one. If you just click on this, a new visual will appear on your canvas. This is called Power BI Canvas. Those who are completely new to Power BI, you just put this, make this canvas little big, put it somewhere. And now, if you go to this format your visual, the second option, nothing will be there. So, first, what you have to do is First, we have to add this visual to our canvas by clicking it. And now we have to select the visual. So if you don't select the visual, nothing will be there. You have to select this visual. And in the location, you put constituency. Now nothing will appear. I mean, it will it will show US map. Now what you have to do is go to format your visual map setting. And here in the map type, you say custom map. And here you say add a map type will come an option to upload. Click on this and select the topo json file and click ok 
now you will get something like this once you are done until this point of time uh, until this point please put it in the chat box uh, sanjay can you please reiterate the same step i missed it okay fine so, so let me delete everything so first you click on this okay just click mm. once mm. you will get this one right mm. Mm -hmm. now try to make it little big uh, and mm -hmm. after you make it big click on make sure to click you. on it if you don't click you will not find anything here no options will be there here so click on this empty visual then first you put constituency here in the location then a us map will appear now you go to the format visual and go to map settings now here in the map type go to the bottom and say custom map and now in the custom map we have to upload our map which we have downloaded topo json click on this and select the topo json this will appear once you are done until this just but put it in the sorry to interrupt but when, but when when i had done this the map settings this option is coming when going on location it is not like i am trying to click on that but it is not like i am not able to write anything or like okay I'm share not... your screen please share your screen oh. actually i am uh, <laughs> looking at this mobile and working on my laptop separately that is a problem okay so what is happening like it is uh, this when I'm clicking on the shape map and I'm uh, enlarging it also like uh, select or drag fields to populate. Now when I'm going to below like when I've after clicking the shape map and location option is coming uh, where you told to uh, uh, find this uh, US but that I'm not able to write anything. It is I don't know. You need to really. drag and drop from fields. Uh, it's okay. in the right. Drag, drag, uh, drag and drop constituent. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for okay, let me just repeat it again. So what you have to do first is you see first step is you put the map right. This one is coming, correct? Correct, correct. The next mm -hmm. step is put constituency in location, drag it. So select mm -hmm. this, drag it and put it on the location. Got it, got it. Yeah. Now you go to the format visual. There you go to the drop down and select custom visual, custom map, and in the upload, go to the particular folder where you have downloaded the topo JSON and click on it. You will get this. Okay. Uh, Sanjay, I'm sharing my screen for a minute. Yeah. Can you... Please share your screen. Till here, I have done Sanjay. Yeah. And the other option, which is in green color, that I cannot find here. No, what you do is uh, click on that uh, visual. This one? Okay. Uh, the visual. Click on somewhere on the visual. Uh -huh. Now go to the format. You are using old version, it is fine. Click on the visual. Okay. Go to the format option, the second one. Second one. Uh, that okay. painting symbol. Yeah, click on that format. Uh, now go to shape. Uh, go to US. Go to the custom map. Okay, directly you can add a map actually. Just say add the map. Down. Yeah. Now go select the topo JSON. Oh, yeah, you got it right. Hmm. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, uh, just a minute. So I'm having a little problem. Uh, I went to <coughs> map settings, but I'm not getting an option of map type. I'm only getting an option of styles and controls. Should I present my screen? Just a minute. Yeah, please. So if any of you have technical difficulties, follow the steps shared by Vivek. Uh, you'll be able to follow it. Okay, is my screen visible? Yeah. No, this is not the right map. You have selected a normal map. Go back to the visuals. And first, uh, you have to select the right map. You have to select the shape map. I think you have selected a normal map, I guess. Okay, okay. Go to the first tab. Right now, select se second tab is selected. Yeah, okay. you change it to second one. Yeah, exactly. Now, okay. you'll be able to find it. Uh, Sanjay, uh, I can see this field map, but uh, there is no, uh, there is no. Uh, uh, huh, now you select that. Add a map type. 
Huh? Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, Sorry. someone is telling yeah. something. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, I can see only field map option, uh, whereas uh, I can't. I can't see the other option. That is. Ah, uh, so what map. you have to do is you have to enable it in the options. Close your power yeah, bay and start it again. Yeah. So what what do you have to do right now? So restart your power bay in case you are not okay. Go to that add map shape. Uh, yes. Huh. You are sharing your screen. Yeah. Click on that. Uh, now you select that uh, file which you downloaded, Topo JSON. Okay. okay. It will be in downloads probably. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Fine. Now let me share my screen. So now we have some problem here. So you can see some of them are not filled. So can someone tell me why this problem has come? Some of them are not filled. Some of them are missing. Everything should be in blue, right? As of now. I mean. The generic map. So can someone Might tell me why we are seeing gray areas? Excuse the me, sir. Percentage yeah. would have been decreased. Uh, okay. Yeah. Someone is asking something. Sir, yeah. for me, everything is gray, sir. Actually. Ah, so what yeah, you have to sir. do is go to location and uh, put constituency here. I have done sir. done it, sir. It is fine. In the old versions, it may appear like that. We can fix it. Okay. Now the reason why we are not getting this properly because in the metadata of the shape files, constituency name is different. In our Excel file, the constituency name is different as per election commission. So we have two options. Either we go and change the shape file. We have to mess around with the DBF, PRJ and all these files. All three files we have to mess around. The second option is to change your Excel file simply. I mean, I can teach you how to edit those DBF files and everything, but for the purpose of the session, We'll simply go ahead and edit the Excel file, even though this is the right data because as per election commission, but for the purpose of the session, it is only a spelling mistake. So we'll just uh, uh, match those spellings with this spelling. Now, just to give you an example, if you see uh, what is written here. What is written here? Once the VAN Correct, correct. Once the is written. Now, if you go here. I think it should be Valsard or something. Yeah, so if you see in the Excel there. file, it says B. It starts with B in Excel file actually. In our Excel file, instead of B, it starts with B. Now what we have to do? Go to the Excel file and change it to V and save the Excel file. So go to the Excel file where it says Bansada, change it to V instead of B. Save the Excel file, click on save and then go here and refresh the data. Now that will be gone. So this gray area is gone. So there are One only question, five circumstances where Sorry we have to, to do interrupt. the correction. Yeah. Uh, Sanjay, but isn't uh, aren't we corrupting the data instead? Because what we have is an accurate data. Can't we yeah. do it in the Power BI map itself? So power doing it in Power BI map, you have to download some software and we have to do it. That is what I said. So that's why I okay. put a disclaimer. So when it comes okay. to spellings, one or two spellings, yeah, you, you can say that the spellings are wrong or whatever you can say. But actually, you know, sometimes there will be pronunciation issues because at the end of the day, whatever you type in English itself is corrupted because in the local language, the pronunciation could be completely different. So for the for the sanity of time which we have, that's why we are choosing the second route. But I but I would say that it is only a matter of spelling. That's it. OK, sure. Yeah. So uh, here you see it here it is written. Some spelling is written. Now you go back to the Excel file and change that spelling to this one. Sir, how to refresh once? Go here on the top and click refresh. First you have to save the Excel file after making the change. Then you click refresh, it will be gone. Okay, sir. Okay, now the second one is it starts with D. So you go here somewhere. I mean, you sort it by alphabetical order. It will be easy. And then you try to see. So here Y is missing. I'll put Y here. Similarly, similarly, Sanjay. let me go and check others. Yeah. Uh, it's showing like election. The process cannot be access the file. There is some error. It is being. Uh, so what you do is process. save the file and close it. Okay. Hmm. Now, if you see this one, they uh, they they uh, uh, this one. Here there is a H is missing. So go here and you remove this H. So like I mentioned, it's only a matter of spelling. You know, H is missing. Instead of Y, it will be I. There will be few mistakes like that. 
Similarly, if I go to this one, here it is written Shah era, and here it is, I am not sure what is written. So let me go to S. So here I'll put A and here I'll put E. This is also done. Again, I'll go to another constituency. Sid. So Sidpur, I'll go to S. I'll add one more D. D is missing. Similarly, I'll go here. So this one is Kalavad. SC is missing. So for now, I'll add it. I'll go to K. S dot C. And I'll save the Excel file and I'll refresh this. Now all my consciences are there except one. This also I'll correct. Take Okay. So I'll go to. This I have to search. D E H G I. Yeah. So I have corrected them in my Excel file. Now it is matching with the map shape files. So once you have done it from your end, just put it in the chat box. We'll go to the next. We'll go to the next step. Uh. Sanjay, uh, yeah, as you said, I resetted the OBI. I, after that, I, even I am uh, unable to see anything in the format. Your, I mean, format uh, In the shape map, huh? Yeah, uh, uh, no, uh, I mean, yeah, I selected the shape map. Uh, after okay, that, uh, you was okay. Hello, Sanjay. Yeah, okay. hi. Share now. Uh, in my case, all the uh, constituencies are undefined. Uh, okay, just can you show me? Uh, no, I, I have logged in from mobile for the uh, meeting. Okay, so most probably you might have uh, selected uh, the wrong column or maybe some issue with your map shape file, file conversion. Okay. So what? So Bupendra, what happened? Yeah, you shared your screen. Yeah, yeah here I, I, I am unable to see anything here. So you have to first drop the constituency, right? So in the visual, first you have to drop yes, the constituency yes. in the location, then you'll get the options. Drop the constituency. So go to sheet one on the right side, expand it. This one. On the right side, complete right in the fields. Okay, okay. Ah. Huh. Drag the constituency and drop it in the, the in in the color saturation. Probably. Yeah. Ah, drop it there. Yeah. Ah, now go to the options. Okay. Ah, okay. okay, fine. Okay. Next. Uh, yeah. Yes, Sadi. What yeah. query you have? Yeah. Hello. Yes, Sanjay, uh, I have a question here uh, that you said that uh, in, in order to change the spelling mistakes and all in the Excel sheet, why don't we change these changes see, in the actually, Power Query? No, no, see, actually, yeah, so you can do it on Power Query itself, but the issue is the issue is with the metadata. Whatever map file we downloaded, there we have to change. Okay, if we have changed it in the Power Query editor, uh, is there no any... Use. No, it's of no use because our data is correct because we have taken it from election commission. Our data is more accurate compared to the data which we got in the file. But unfortunately, the metadata which is there in the map shape file itself is wrong. I mean, for this five six constituencies, the spelling mistake, whatever you call it. So what we have to do is, if we have to be hundred percent accurate, we have to download a editor, DBF editor, and we have to edit the DBF file, and then again we have to okay. save that file. Again, do the conversion and then bring it back to power bay. That will be the actual process. Just for the sanity of time, we are doing reverse actually. Okay. If we have uh, took the data from the SQL server also, then we can make the changes directly in the SQL server or we have to make it in power, bay, power query. I mean, we can do it in power query also. See that in that case, you can do it because currently the issue is there is a mismatch of spelling in the yes. map shape file. Yes. So we have to change either the map shape file or Excel file. 
because it is easy to change excel file right now we have changed it in the excel file but actually mm -hmm. the right way is to change it in the map shape file map shape file yeah, yeah because that we will take a lot of time we source, have to install right? some software and we have to do a lot of things yeah. it's not so easy yeah yeah we have to change it in the source right in order to get that uh, exact result mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay. yes yeah yeah got it. Got it. thank you sir mm -hmm. okay now let me share my screen let's go to the next part now i have put constituency now what i'll do is i'll put margin Hello. in the color saturation sanjay yeah uh, can you just uh, tell me the replacement for shahira uh, you can just uh, see wherever you have the empty one now uh, you just hover over it and which your spelling is there in this file that you have to put in next type sh and search it you can get it sh okay 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 thank you okay guys now just watch this carefully what you have to do is go to margin on the right side and put it in color saturation and in the legend you put you put the leading party now you will get all the results now we have to select the right colors so just watch this carefully later you can follow it i'll give you time so let me repeat once again this is the map which you will get after you do the corrections go to leading party and put it in the legend put the margin in the color saturation and then you'll get some colors now the issue is we need the right colors right so go to wikipedia and say gujarat 2022 elections and go here now you'll get wikipedia page now we have to pick these colors exact colors to match them so how do you pick there is a chrome extension called color picker so just if you hover over that i mean if you just open that uh, extension let me just show let me scroll it let me open it in a new tab let me show how we can pick the color so this is the image i'll just go here and i'll select bjp's color orange saffron and then i'll copy this code i'll put it in the teams also don't worry i'll go here and i'll go to fill colors and for bharatiya janata party i'll put this color now i got this color now again i'll go back i'll select the color for congress i'll copy the hex code then i'll go to indian national congress and put that color for congress sorry i think it was not copied let me copy Cop So let me just copy this and paste it for Indian National Congress. No, Indian National Congress is ready. Now go. Now I'll go and copy this for. Yeah. Now if you see, these are the party colors which are represented, right? So this blue is for Congress and this is for AAP. So I'll go here and I'll try to extract the color with color picker. So this is the color for AAP. So I'll copy. I'll go here, more colors. I'll paste it. Now again, I'll go to independent. For independent, I'll put gray color probably, probably a dark gray or something like that. And now for Samajwadi party, I have to use this color. I'll copy this, copy this hex color, and put it for Samajwadi party. Uh, sorry, I think it is not copied. Let me copy it again. I'll copy. I'll put it for Samajwadi party. Now my legend is also showing right party and the map is also, it is almost correct, you can say, uh, right? So here and here, if you see, it is almost matching in both the cases. And once you have done until this, please let me know. I'll just show you again how to do it. There is one extension called color picker in Chrome. I mean, sorry for edge. Just say color picker. Chrome because Chrome extension is you can also add it for Edge also. So go to this uh, color picker. I'll copy this and I'll share it in the chat box. So go to this one, install this extension for your Edge browser, Edge or Chrome, and you can add it. So there are many ones. I think I'm using an older version, I guess. This also you can use, and you can extract all the colors from a web page, and then you can copy those hex codes, and then here you can always customize them. So let me give you all the hex codes here. So for Bharti Janta Party, this is one. This is one BJP. This is the code for INC. 
This is the code. Uh, for independent. This is the code. Uh, for Indian National Congress. Let me just. MC is fine. For Samajwadi. Uh, hey, Sanjay. Yeah. Uh, Sanjay, I don't see uh, the name of political party in margin uh, legend. It's like the number is coming in that one. Can you show it again? Okay. No, I do not understand. I mean, uh, I don't. Uh, for each of the constituency, uh, the mm. name of party is not coming. It's like the value of margin is coming. Uh, okay. Can you just uh, share your screen? Uh, I can't share because there is two different uh, device. Okay. Uh, so it's like I'll tell you in the map if I hover over in the constituency, mm. uh, the margin value is coming. Uh, the okay. numerical value of margin difference. Mm. Uh, the which political party has own that I'm not uh, getting. Uh, you put uh, it so in the tool tips. See in the visual tool you have tool tips also right in the tool tip you drag whatever you want in the hover. OK, got it. OK, fine. Now yeah. let me. Yeah. I have downloaded the Chrome extension. Just can you just can you reiterate like uh, how to you are putting the saffron and all yeah, these colors. Just can you just uh, uh, share your screen? I'll just show you how to use the color picker. Actually, uh, the same issue is like I'm using on a mobile. <laughs> Fine. So what you see, what you can do is anyway, I shared the colors in your uh, chat. So what you have to do, whatever you have extension we have applied. So click on that particular extension and it will enable one screen for you to put it somewhere. It may look different. The user interface might look different because many people use Chrome. I have given that Chrome extension one. I mean the popular one which is there. This is which I'm using for edge. So extension might be different. I mean the interface might be different, but functionality will be the same. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay, okay. Sanjay, where are we placing these hex codes? Can you ah, please so what you have to do is select this map, go to the format visuals and for each party you copy the hex code and go to more colors and paste it here. For the respective parties, select the visual, go to the format options, go to fill colors, select one of the parties, say more yeah, colors, paste it. it in the respective ones. Thank you. OK, guys, now tell me what should we do next? So we have just created one visual, which is not enough, obviously, for any election. Next, what we have to do? We have to make legends for the like, number of candidates who want. <laughs> OK, so we need to have a summary table. Secondly, we need to also have a table for alliances also, right? So if there are any alliances like NDA, UPA, uh, independent, uh, non aligned, whatever it is that we need to have. And also one more thing which we need to have is now if you see this, this is not really looking good if you ask me because uh, we can customize this map also a little bit. So what I'll do is I'm selecting the map. I'll go to legends. And I'll turn off the title of the legend and then I'll put this legend at the bottom right bottom center. I prefer legend to be at the bottom and also I'll put the title. I will I'll actually turn off the title. I don't require any title and I'm going to put this here. Now what I will do is. I'll create another page. So this is the. Gujarat election. Results 2022 and then probably I'll create another page and I will actually hide this page. Now what just watch this carefully and then you can do it on your end. OK, I'll go to visualizations. And here there is an option called tooltip. I'll turn it on. And then I'll go to the canvas setting. And then I'll try to be, it will make it very small when I select tooltip. So what I will do is. I'll actually create another visual, another map shape file or simply I'll go here and copy it. Let me copy this one. And paste it here and let me resize in the second page. It's a small uh, page because I selected tooltip option. Let me select very small one. Let me turn off the legend completely for this visual. Right. 
a very small visual this is now i want to increase the height of it i'll go here i'll go to custom and i'll increase the height i'll increase it to 480 or probably i'll put 360 right and i'll put this at the bottom in the second page i'll increase the size now what i want is i will go here i'll put a card card visual this is and here what i will do is here i'll put the constancy okay this is the constancy i'll customize things later the font size and other things i'll do it beautification always takes time so i'll do it and probably i'll try to increase the canvas size i am just sharing the thought process later you can uh, do it on your own so i am increasing the width also here also i am increasing the width probably i'll reduce this font to b12 and i'll turn on the call out value okay so here i will simply select the leading candidate okay and bottom i'll put the trailing candidate okay it's a very big name and here what i will do is i'll create another card visual third one and here i'll remove this and i'll put margin okay now for margin i don't want any units so i don't want it to do auto units i'll put normal units and for margin i'll put commas so here i have margin let me just put it properly and here i have leading and Uh, trailing candidates and here i have the map so in the map what i will do is in the in the blank areas i don't want it to show blank areas i'll turn it off and borders i'll put it black color and here also i will go here and select the borders as black color right and now i'll go to general i'll turn on the tool tip to the report page page 1 now see what will happen if i hover it will show exactly that particular constancy and here what i'll do is i'll enable auto zoom so i'll go to zoom and i'll say auto zoom and zoom on selection now see what will happen when i hover it will show me exactly that one so i can customize this i mean for uttar pradesh and all i have done it it will be customized but for now i'm just showing you very quickly what you can do when you hover it will show exactly that particular constancy probably i'll put it in the center let me reduce the font size probably i'll put 30 right i'll put 30 and then i'll go here again i'll see so it is giving me this hover right as soon as i hover it will show like who is the candidate but no party is missing here so probably what i'll do is i'll select like this and also margin also i'll reduce i'll probably copy this something like this i'll put later i can make the adjustments i'm just showing you the thought process that's it other than that i don't so what i will do is here i'll put trailing party and here i'll put leading party uh, of course it it will not come fully i will make that adjustment uh, later let me select everything let me make it small i will take time to beautify so i'm not spending too much time on it now if i go here and if i hover i am getting all the constancy results when i hover right now if i have to show you some of the other election results which i have made just to show you like how i have actually visualized or customized it so here you can see i think i'll show you uttar pradesh elections and also probably i'll show you tamil nadu elections as well. not tamil nadu i'll show us elections now here you can see right so when i hover it will show the exact color also color also will match so for example if congress one so congress candidate will get blue color bjp will get orange color similarly sp will get green uh, color uh, sorry uh, red color and other parties for example something like sbsp will get yellow color so here i haven't done that customization that requires dax right now what's happening when i simply hover it is showing black and white that's it it is just showing names in black and white but here i have written dax code in the back end to actually give me that kind of effect and i have visualized it in a very nice way i have customized it properly right so this one you can see the colors are also changing as per the candidate every one everything will show a unique color those boxes 
And similarly, for Uttar Pradesh, I have done a comparison between 2017 and 2022 elections. So in 125 constituencies, the party has changed. And in the remaining uh, constituencies, 275 constituencies, 275 odd constituencies, the party did not change. So even that kind of comparison I have did. And even I have actually done this alliances. So NDA consists of these three parties. SP plus alliance will consist of these three parties. So others will be like no alliance, something like that you can say. So you can do a lot of things. And here also you can do the same. So for example, what I will do is, I'll put a bar chart, okay? So I'll put a small bar chart here and I'll put the leading party and then I'll put the constituency as the count, count of constituency, right? And here I can customize this. If I select Bharatiya Janta Party, only those constituencies will get highlighted. If I select INC, only those will be highlighted. If I select AAP, only AAP will be selected. So what I can do, again, I can go back here. I'll go to columns. I'll say show all and I'll select my colors. This is for BJP. This is for INC. This is for Amadmi. Independent is this color. SP is this color. Now if I select this one, this will show up. This one I can show up. I can map these with the alliances like UPA, NDA, like how I have done for Uttar Pradesh election. And we can do even further analysis. Then I can put photos of the CM candidate and then uh, the opposition leader. And then I can put the count of that. And then I can put all the headings and I can do the customization. Now this is the base file. Now what I will do is you have to complete the rest of the one and you have to maybe post it on LinkedIn, share it on WhatsApp, anything you can do that will be your assignment. So I have walked you through how to build a map. Now from here, it is your job to customize it and build a complete dashboard end to end and do the analysis and post it either on WhatsApp in our group or post it on LinkedIn. So that will be your assignment. So 2017 elections, if you want, probably we can have another session next Sunday where I'll explain how to bring the 2017 election results and how we can do the swing analysis, if you're interested. So that is about today's session. So the rest of the thing is like homework, you can say. So yeah, you sure. go and you can that post would be it fine. On, yeah, so the rest of the things you can post on the group, any questions you have and other things, I can probably guide you on it as well. And others are also there to guide. Okay, okay, so how is yeah, the session? Sir, yes, Sanjay, this is very useful for everyone. Uh, Sanjay, uh, let's plan for the next uh, uh, like Sunday session if possible. The session yeah, is very really. helpful. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thanks. Sir. And Sanjay, I uh, just wanted to know you mentioned